So a little bit about Bob. They really do pride themselves in creating high quality strollers to help parents get out and explore the outdoors with their children. Now the Bob strollers are excellent for running, jogging, even walking, but they're also great to go over sand and snow. So really you're not gonna be stopped by any conditions if you are using a Bob. Now they do have a few different versions, but today we're gonna to show you the Revolution Flex. Now before we get into that, I want to talk to you a little bit about jogging with your child. It's never recommended to jog with your child under six months old, and that's even if you're using a car seat with that stroller. Now the reason for that is because their neck and spine are not developed enough to take the impact of jogging. So do keep that in mind. I honestly would probably be comfortable at about a year, but check with your physician to see if it's appropriate. Okay, so some key factors to look for to make sure that you do have a jogging stroller. So three main characteristics. You wanna make sure that it has increased suspension. You should be able to tell by pushing down on the frame of the stroller and it should bounce back. So it should be absorbing some of that energy. Also, you wanna have air filled tires. Now again, that's gonna absorb some of that energy so that your child isn't feeling so much of that impact. And then the third characteristic you're looking for is a locked wheel. Now you wanna make sure that it's gonna lock in the front position. Now the reason for that locking position is so that it requires less effort on the driver to keep it going straight. So it's going to naturally go forward so you're not having to control it as much, reducing the energy that you're having to expend so you can focus on jogging. Now you do want it to be able to lock in the out position. Some strollers are actually going to lock here, which is fine, but the longer you're able to make your stroller, the less effort it's going to take for you to control it. Okay, so now getting into the Bob Revolution Flex specifically. So you can start using this stroller when your child is eight weeks. I would personally feel more comfortable um, if they could hold their head up because the recline is not super um, reclined, as you can see. So you wanna make sure that they have a little bit of head control before using it. So the weight limit on these, the single is gonna be 75 pounds and the double is gonna be 100 pounds dispersed between the two seats. So it has a very high weight capacity compared to other strollers on the market. Now you can start using your stroller with an infant with the use of additional adapters and your car seat. So you can put in those adapters right here, click in your car seat, and then you can use it with an infant. So it's not um, useless until the child is eight weeks old, which is awesome. Now one cool thing that Bob does on their strollers, now they have awesome suspension, as you can see. But what they did is they, make an, it, they made it adjustable. So when your child reaches 40 pounds, what you wanna do is adjust the suspension here to accept that higher weight. So that's awesome. You're gonna adjust that on both sides. Just like that, so that it can um, change the kind of the center of gravity to support that extra weight. Now every time you fold it, is it is going to um, reset, so you have to redo it every time when you're using um, your stroller with a child that's 40 pounds or heavier. Now, like I mentioned, you can get adapters and use this with a car seat. Now, it's compatible with, with quite a few brands. So that's going to include Bob, Britax, Peg Perigo, Kiko, Graco, and, of course, Baby Jogger. And so those, you will have to buy additional adapters that will go in here. Then you can click it and use it as a travel system. Now, one thing to mention um, on this stroller is it's a little bit on the heavy side. So the single weighs in at about 25 pounds, and the double weighs in at about 33 pounds. So it's something to consider when purchasing your stroller. Now, one of the biggest contributors to a smooth ride in your stroller is actually the tires. And this is something that a lot of people don't consider. So you do want to consider the tread. What does that look like? But also the size and the material that it's made out of. So on the Bob, the rear tires are gonna me measure at 16 inches, and then the front tire is gonna be 12 and a half inches. Now that large size just means it's gonna roll over rocks and different terrain so much easier. Now some other things that make it really nice, like I showed you before, you do have that locking mechanism, and that you'll just engage with this little red knob right here, and that'll lock it into place. You also can remove all the tires for easy travel, and to do that, you'll just do this easy release right here, 
And then a really cool thing that Bob has done is they've actually integrated a tracking system for your front tire. Now sometimes it'll get a little off or if you're on a hill it'll kind of track one way and so you can adjust that with this knob right here and you're just going to turn that to the right or left and that's going to adjust your tracking just a little bit to make it an easier ride. Now on the rear you can also move remove those tires. In this I probably wouldn't do unless you're traveling or you really are um, restricted on trunk space. So to release those tires you'll just lift up on this metal tab in the back and slip it right off. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the awesome features of this stroller to make it a little bit more convenient for you. Now, it does have an adjustable handlebar. So this is actually one of the highest handlebars that I've seen. So it's going to go pretty low for your short mamas or dads, um, but it's going to go really high. As you can see, I'm 5'5". Five five. This is way too high for me. This would accommodate like a six and a half foot man, which is awesome. Um, but one thing to consider is it is a pivot handlebar. Now, I actually prefer a telescoping. Um, the reason for that is the furthest it's going to be from the wheel is about here, not at, it, at its highest point. Once you get to its highest point, it's actually closer to the axle. And if you're tall, you typically have long legs, which means you may actually kick the stroller. Um, I don't know that it's a huge concern with most people, but that's something that I always consider is that there is a point where it starts to get closer to the stroller as it gets higher or lower. So just something to consider. Now it does have a nice, a generous canopy, um, UPF 50 plus, so it's going to protect your child and keep them shaded as well as a nice peekaboo window so you can keep, um, keep an eye on your little one. Now some people don't like the fact that this is a clear plastic. I personally don't prefer it either, but they did that because typically if you're jogging or have a jogging stroller, you're kind of hardcore and you may go out in the rain and you don't want your little one to get wet. Now um, on the recline, as I showed you before, it's just a one hand recline, which is nice. You're just gonna pinch um, this little adjuster, pull it down, and then to lift it up, pull out on those two rings. Now it does have a parking brake. Um, this isn't what we would call like flip flop friendly just because you do have to use your feet. But if you're using a jogger, most likely you're wearing tennis shoes. So it's gonna fall into place just like that. And then to lift it up, just like that. So that's just gonna park it into place so it doesn't roll away while you're not attending it. Now it does have an adjustable harness um, as well. To adjust that, you're actually gonna undo this Velcro here and then move up this clip just like that. If you need it above that position, move it all the way up and then Velcro it again just below it. So it does only have like really two major that's gonna hold it into place, but you can move that clip up and down as you need. Now there is pretty ample storage in here. So there's two side pockets. This is great for like sippy cups and your little, little one's snacks. You do also have an elastic mesh um, pocket in the back and this is more for parents um, little things. And then you also have a pretty generous storage basket underneath. It's not gonna be super easy to get a large diaper bag down there, but it's a lot of space. Okay, now how does it fold? It's actually not too bad. Um, so you're going to do first um, lift up on these triggers right here, flip it forward, and then you're going to pull up here just like that. It is a two-step and you do have to use both hands. Now if you want to lock it into place, you're going to use um, this safety strap. This you always want to use while jogging so your stroller doesn't get away from you. But then also it has this red buckle and that you're going to click down here on the rear axle just to keep it locked into place so it's easy to lift up and put in your car. Now, as you can see, it is quite big when folding, so that's something to consider. You will want to try it out in your car to make sure it fits in your trunk before purchasing it. Now, to open the stroller, just lift up on the handlebar and give it a gentle shake. You don't want to completely shake it out. Over time, that will wear down your frame, so you do want to be gentle when you're opening your stroller. 
Now Bob does offer some accessories to make it a little bit more convenient for you. So you can get a parent console to attach to the handlebar and that's just going to hold your cup, your keys, your wallet, that sort of thing. You can also get a sun shield or a weather shield if you're going to be out and about in inclement weather. You can get a snack tray that will attach here for your little one. And then there's also an awesome fitness kit that you can add to your workout routine. Now on the single you can also get a travel bag and those car seat adapters that I mentioned before. Unfortunately you cannot get car seat adapters for the double, so that one you're just going to be able to use with older kids. Okay, here are some things to consider when deciding on a jogging stroller. So the bob is a bit on the large side, especially when folded. So you do have to consider your trunk space. Um, you also just have to consider convenience. It's gonna be a little bit larger. It's also a little bit heavier than your average stroller. And that's just because they had to add in some of those great features to um, divert that energy impact from your child. So there is a reason for it. Now, it doesn't have a ton of convenience features for parents and everyday use. Um, so it's not ideal for like a city stroller just taking around town throwing in your car it, it, but it is an amazing jogging stroller and that's what we love about it. The maneuverability on it is amazing even over sand and rocks. It's just gonna glide right over taking a lot less effort to push which is awesome. We also love that you can add adapters to use it as a travel system and use an infant car seat so that you really can use it from birth. And one of the great things about the Bob is that it has such a high weight capacity, but also it has a very generous seat, as you can see. It's going to have a large seated position. It's very tall. It has ample space for their feet. So you really can use this with a larger child. So overall, we love this stroller. If you're a really active, outdoorsy family, this is really going to be an awesome stroller for you to consider. The Bob Revolution Flex does come in a plethora of colors. Um, I also did mention some other styles. So you can get the Pro and with that you're going to get a handbrake and you can get their basic model which isn't going to have the adjustable handle or the handbrake. So those are some features to consider if you want to save some money. Now to purchase you can come into our store or shop online at babycubby.com. If this video was helpful, please give us a like or even subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love doing these videos to help educate you so that you're buying the right products for your baby.